What's going on, Jen family? Sorry, I can't scream. It's just that we're here right now with Jenica and the baby, and I think she's about to be here. I don't know what this means over here, but let me let me show you guys. You guys see that? And then her heartbeat it was going on 146, and I think today's the day, if not tomorrow, huh? You're tired. We have not slept for over 24 hours. Mm -hmm. 24 hours, she kept us up all night. Let me just show you what she was doing last night, okay? Like, I put these down, the times that she had a contraction. Those are the times she would keep waking me up until like around four, I woke up and I just stayed up with her. Oh my. Look at that wave right there. That one in the top. One after the other. One after the other. I just want to say, I just want to give credit to all the, the girls and women that go through this. Like, like every credit, like you guys deserve it. Like it's too much what you guys go through, and uh, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna say a prayer for my baby because she needs it. Like she's hurting right now. I'm just gonna ask God, help her out, get through this together, and see if baby comes soon, because her due date is in three days. So I'm just gonna say a little prayer for now, and hopefully, yeah. So just to show you guys, these are all the contractions she has been having since 6 in the morning. And right now it's 1.52 and she just had a minute and 12 seconds. I'm about to put this one, which was at 1.58 and yeah. Come on baby princess, be nice to mama. So it's the next day. Jenica's talking to her mom over there, but uh, we ended up going home from yesterday. That's why I have a different shirt. We're here at the hospital again. We did walk, and right now she's four centimeters. And oh my god, I'm finally gonna be a father to one princess. And I'm just really thankful. It's great to be able to share it with you guys. So without further ado, all we have to do now is just wait for Princess to get here. So I just wanted to catch you guys up. We just got a brand new room. And this is the labor and delivery room. Just look at this. And it's heated. Baby girl's gonna be comfortable. Like, warm. <laughs> you guys heard Jenica just forget that. So yeah, right now we're just waiting for baby to get here again. And then I guess it has been feeling contractions. Let me show you guys that too. Those are some of the contractions she has been getting. That one, these, that one, this one, and this one. So yesterday we came, but we got sent back because Jenna was only dilated too. Today she's four. Whoa. Going to be, yeah. Last time they checked, going to be four. Right now she's probably at like a five. No? Like a four, four and a half. Hopefully she's a five though. Because from five they say it goes like, doo -doo -doo, like quick. All right, so Jenica already had her epidural done, but it did hurt her for like the first 30 seconds. It but, hurts so bad. But she's doing good now. She's over there. Uh, she doesn't feel contractions no more. So. Jenica is finally seven centimeters dilated. Right, baby? Yeah. <sighs> seven centimeters dilated. She's she's like with the foot out. She's like <laughs> We're about to have a baby girl in ten minutes. I can't even talk. I'm shaking. 
Look, look at the camera. I didn't break the camera. Did you check the retraction thing? Why? I'm not even getting them because I feel like my stomach's hard. Yo, babe. What? <laughs> They're about to get their ass in here. It's because I can't feel them. Look, look, look. Babe, there, it's like this on top. Do you guys see I this? Can't see this? I can't. What pink one? I can't move. This one. You said that one? That wasn't there. Look, there's just one this one. These are the good ones. Look at this one. A hundred. Alright, guys. So, Jenica's now seven centimeters dilated. Right now, she's putting on makeup. I don't know for what. But she's gonna be obsessed with you. She's gonna look just like you. No, she's gonna be like you. No, she's gonna look like you. Maybe like me. But who knows? We just gotta wait a little bit longer. And the doctor said she will be dilating quicker, so she thinks like in about an hour she's gonna reach ten centimeters. Oh, we're gonna dilated and we're praying to God that it happens but we're scared we're nervous I'm nervous uh, tell me you guys tell me when have you guys ever seen a uh, in labor person just do this okay <clears throat> Jenica's getting ready for the arrival delivery labor and I'm over here just being me ugly just chilling but she's over there getting ready. When have you guys ever seen this? Like, she's in the delivery room, in labor with pains. Yeah, queen has to be queen. <laughs> it's so bonita. Um, they already started putting the, the like the crib for the baby. Like it's getting warmed up. If the nurse comes in here, oh well. But. That's it right there. It's warm. Let me just tell you guys, it looks like a pretzel maker. But and uh, the the nurse told us that this baby wants to come out. Why? Because throughout the whole pregnancy, she did not give us any reason to think she was gonna come early. Uh, Jenica never felt any symptoms. Uh, what else? Babe? Like yeah, like what she just said. So honestly, she's been a good, grateful baby that I have, hermosa mi chula. But she's been really good throughout pre Jenica's pregnancy. She's never brought us to the ER until yes. like three days ago, three, three, four days ago. She's recently been making us come and, you know, I come, we come, I don't, I don't like mind but it's just amazing how she's already tired i know she's tired of being in there and like she helped on this long to finally get us to like hey you know what i need to get out you know like i need to get out and these days have been like so fast paced that we do you believe it babe i don't believe we're still here but Apparently to this hospital. We're here, we're admitted into the delivery room and we're about to have a baby girl. And this family barely starts. Like this is just the beginning. It's a long road of babies. Right, babe? Yeah. Right, babe? Yeah. Right, babe? Yeah. Are you sure? Wait, what? <laughs> She can't really, she's numb, but. Her head's numb. <laughs> but I'll get, I'll get this camera rolling as soon as my baby princess is here. Without further ado, make sure you guys turn on all notifications because for some reason, YouTube changed the policy where now you have to have all notifications to get even notified from us, which I think is weird, but okay. Make sure you guys join the family by subscribing. So without further ado, let's just enjoy this beautiful moment, beautiful scenery. Beautiful baby, beautiful princess, beautiful queen, beautiful king, <laughs> beautiful junior, which is polar. He's at the house right now waiting for us to get back with okay. baby sister. So I'll catch you guys up as soon as Jenica is feeling a little bit better. And I think she's going to take a nap. 
Right, babe? Yeah. Okay. So she's going to take a nap, and then I'll just let her rest. Uh, and, yeah. All right, guys. So it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Yep. And I'm just going to run down with, like, the things that have been happening. So for the last four hours, I can't even talk about uh, for the last four hours, Janica has been dilating for only two centimeters, but she's moving along. Uh, we're almost at 10. She's nine centimeters dilated, and it's just crazy, but she's almost here. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed. No, I haven't showed you guys. Uh, but yeah, we had like, what? 10 people outside waiting for us, which was Jenica's parents, uh, Jenica's brother, and their kids, and my parents, and they were outside. The security guard tried to take them out, but they asked for permission. They consulted with us if they could be in the window, and we said a yes, so right now. They were over there, but I guess they, they got cold. Like, it's 2 in the morning, it's cold right now, it's like, 70 like 65 degrees outside so they went to the car right now but as soon as baby starts pushing i think they're gonna pee in the window and i'll try to show you guys but it was just hilarious <laughs> but yeah Good morning, Jen family. It's the morning. Baby doesn't want to come. Baby girl, if you're watching this, so you can see the struggles we've been going through. Literally slept right there. In, in that little spot, all right? Yeah, and he didn't want to wake up. Tell her. <laughs> and I just wanted to catch you guys up. Jenica's been pushing for at least, I'll say 14 times she pushed, right? Like she pushed 14 times and we're just waiting until the cervix fully opens up to a 10 and it's time to see baby girl and hopefully show her to you guys as soon as we can. I just keep looking at the crib that, that way and there's going to be a baby right there. Pretty soon. If I don't have strong contractions, they, I can't push. Mm. They won't be able to tell me to push. You know how they say because we're going to make contractions? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just up to you now. You guys need a teamwork. Okay. I can't feel it. You can't feel this? Mm -hmm. Oh. Very good. And Jenica's family and my family are still outside. I'll show you guys right now. Look. I'll do that. Huh. All right. Every 15 minutes I'm going to massage you. Okay. What do you say to be? Now, another hands inside. Mm -hmm. 
So, baby princess arrived at 8.47, October 17th, 2020, but she's finally here. Oh, we forgot to tell you guys, they haven't told us how much she weighs because they wanted her to get used to Jenica and her chest and her breathing. And she's also breastfeeding right now so she could get used to it. So our family members left because they were tired. It's, what, nine, 10? And then we're here since yesterday at 7 p.m. in the afternoon. So they've been here all this time. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that was here and everybody that couldn't make it. Thank you for supporting us. Um, thank you for being there and being here. Um, but I think we're going to close out today's video. As always, you guys are not part of the Gem family. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notifications. Make sure you guys turn notifications on to all. If you guys would like a post notification shout out, all you have to do is take a screenshot that you are part of the Gem family, have notifications on. And once you guys do those two things, comment done, take a screenshot, send it to Jenica's Instagram. Her Instagram is gonna be linked down below. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.